example 1.3 given a is a set uh, in it uh, x belongs to n x greater than or less than 4 and set b x belongs to w such that x greater than or equal to 0 less than 2 and c x belongs to n such that x less than 3 n means it is natural number it starts with 1 ends with infinity it can go uh, like that 1 2 3 4 etc and then w is a set of whole numbers it starts with 0 and uh, goes till infinity 0 1 2 3 4 etc till infinity now we have only two sets one is n another one is w in a we have uh, the number from natural number set and uh, it is greater than 1 less than 4 so here we don't have equal symbol so we need not take this one and we cannot take uh, take one and we have strictly less than symbol and four will not be entered so greater than one less than four means uh, between one and four we have the only these two elements so in the set a we have only two elements they are two comma three because x is a number from natural number it follows greater than one less than four so greater than one means it is two less than four means three only 2 and 3 are taken for first set A. And then for the set B, we have condition X belongs to W, that is X belongs to W. W means it is a whole symbol set, starts with the 0 and uh, till goes infinity, 1, 2, 3, etc. Now here we have greater than or equal to 0. Here equal to symbol is given. So it starts with the 0 and then 1. Then is less than 2 means uh, less than 2. Less than 2 means the numbers... Uh, before 2 so they are uh, 0 and 1 only so in the set B we have only two elements they are 0 and 1 and now we are moving to the third set C it contains uh, natural numbers that is less than 3 again move to natural number set less than 3 means less than 3 means uh, before 3 the numbers we have uh, <coughs> the number less than 3 are they are 1 and 2 so here 1 comma 2 we have now taking these three sets, we should uh, check A cross B union C is equal to A cross B union A cross C and A cross B intersection C is equal to A cross B intersection A cross C. To do it, uh, first one, B union C, first A cross B union C. To calculate B union C, B union C is equal to, union means is nothing but the numbers in B and the numbers in C both are entered here but without repetition. That means uh, the number entered in uh, B and C, only once you can write. That is B uh, without repetition. Now, B union C. Here is B, here is have C. So, you can start with the 0 and then 1. And again move it to the set C. And here also we have 1, you need not write it again. And then move to the next number, 2. This is known as B union C. B union C means uh, the elements which are in B and the C both the elements present B and C all are entered in B union C. Now we need A cross B union C. A cross B union C. That is nothing but A. A is 2 comma 3 and cross product B union C. Value of B union C is set B union C is 0, 1, 2. Now applying cross product of both we will get there are a uh, two elements here and uh, here three elements so two in three six pairs we will have the first pair is two comma zero taken two with these three uh, elements two comma zero two comma one and two comma two and then taken two with three with these three elements we will get three comma zero three comma one and uh, three comma two so this is known as a cross b union c now let it be one we need to calculate the right hand side for that we need the value of a cross b first a cross B means uh, <coughs> applying cross product of both A and B. Here we have 2, 2 with these two elements, 2 comma 0 and 2 comma 1. And then 3 with these two elements because A cross B is um, we are calculating. So the set A and B are taken and uh, comparing with the 2 with these two elements, 2 comma 0, 2 comma 1 and taking 3 and uh, comparing these two, uh, combining these two, 3 comma 0 and 3 comma 1. Now we have calculated A cross B and we need A cross C also. A cross C is equal to. A cross C means the first elements in this type of pairs. First element are taken from A and second element are taken from C. So comparing A and C here. A we have 2, 3 and C we have 1, 2. 
here we have two numbers here also we have two numbers 2 into 2 equal to there are four pairs will uh, will be exi will exist so they are 2 comma 1 and uh, 2 comma 2 next uh, moving to 2 3 3 comma 1 and 3 comma 2 so this is a cross b the other one is a cross c now the right hand side a cross b union a cross c so a cross b union a cross c. I am writing here look at carefully a cross b union a cross c this means what the elements present in a cross b and the present in a cross c both are appear here so a cross b we have 2 comma 0 and 2 comma 1 3 comma 0 and 3 comma 1 all are different pairs I have written here. And then moving to A cross C. In A cross C 2 comma 1 already appeared here. Need not write it again. And 2 comma 2 is not appeared. So we can write here 2 comma 2. 3 comma 1 is already appeared here. We need not write it again. And the next one is 3 comma 2. Now this is taken as 2. Look at here. This is equation 1. This is equation 2. This is left hand side A cross B union C answer. And here we have calculator right hand side A cross B union A cross A. Look at the two equations here. We have 2 comma 0, 2 comma 1 and 2 comma 2 appeared here. 3 comma 0, 3 comma 1 and 3 comma 2. Both has uh, 6 type of uh, equal pairs. Uh, so they are equal which implies 1 equal to 2. Hence A cross B union C is equal to A cross B union a cross C. Hence, A cross B union C is equal to A cross B union A cross C. Now, we have completed the first part. We are moving to the second subdivision here. Now, second uh, subdivision A cross B intersection C is equal to A cross B intersection A cross C. We need to calculate A cross B intersection C first. A cross B intersection C. To calculate this value, first we need to calculate B intersection C. B intersection C is nothing but the elements appear in both B and C only entered here. You should try the elements which are present in both B and C. Okay. Right. Now look at uh, B here and C. In B and C we have only one element as common. So the common element only taken when the intersection is given. So in these two sets the common element is 1. So that will be entered here. This is known as B intersection C. Now we are moving to A cross B intersection C. Now A cross B intersection C is nothing but writing A here A is 2 comma 3 and apply cross product and then write the value of B intersection C that is 1. Single done set. Now applying cross product of these two 2 1 2 comma 1 and 3 comma 1 is the cross product of these two sets. So A cross B intersection C. Uh, this is taken as 1 that is left hand side. Now we are moving to the right hand side A cross B intersection A cross C. We need to calculate A cross B first. A cross B means uh, <coughs> in A we have 2 and 3 and we have in B we have 0 1. So applying cross product 2 comma 0 and 2 comma 1 3 comma 0 and 3 comma 1. This is a cross product of A cross B. And we are moving to A cross C. Cross product of A and C will be equal to similar to the above result. We can easily calculate. Take A and C. Uh, taking first element as uh, from A and uh, second element as C. We can form uh, four different pairs. Uh, they are 2 comma 1. And 2 comma 2. And 3 comma 1. And 3 comma 2. Now this is A cross C and uh, the right hand side we have intersection of this we need the intersection of these two uh, cross products. Uh, now here I am calculating A cross B intersection A cross C which is equal to set the common elements of these two are taken 2 comma 0 presence here here there is no 2 comma 0 2 comma 1 presence both uh, uh, sets A cross B and A cross C. So this is the common element 2 comma 1. And 3 comma 0 is not present here. 3 comma 1 is not present here. Also 3 comma 1 presents. So there are two pairs. They are 2 comma 1 to 3 comma 1 are common to this. 2 comma 1 and 3 comma 1 are the 
common from these two sets. Uh, so this is A cross B intersection A cross C. Now this is taken as 2 and look at the answers of 1 and 2 here. In both we have 2 comma 1, 3 comma 1 which implies 1 equal to 2 which implies uh, A cross B intersection C will be equal to A cross B intersection A cross C. Hence uh, verified. A cross B intersection C is equal to A cross B intersection A cross C, hence verified.